Today, what I'd like to do in this tutorial is to further adjust our friend Harold. Um, he's a fine man, and this is no judgment about his hairline or hair color. Mine is quite gray. But just for the sake of learning Photoshop, what I'd like to do is to our end result to look like this. So as we say, let's get started. Let me delete my layer. I've got a background copy of Harold already. First thing I had to do was to go find a picture of the replacement hair that I wanted to work with, and I found it. So I'm going to go to File, Place Embedded. Look at that. And click Place. OK, I'm going to move this roughly over Harold's face, this young man here. But it's hard for me to get it lined up. So I'm going to the Layers panel and lowering the opacity on the baby layer, the hair layer, so I can see through it. Now this doesn't have to be a thousand percent precise. But it helps me to get a starting point. So I'm looking at hairline right now. I'm looking at face size and I'm getting their eyes roughly lined up. But remember, we're only worried about the hair. Now, if in your case, you need to do some rotating as well, you can move the pointer outside of the selected area and rotate as needed. Your opacity setting works for you all depends on, well, what works for you. But I went down to about 50%. So let's bring that opacity slider back up to 100. We'll click the check mark up on the top menu bar to agree to our changes. And we're going to add a layer mask by going to the bottom of the layers panel and clicking the Add Layer Mask button. Grab your brush, make sure your mode is set to normal, your opacity to 100%, your flow can be 100%. Brush size can change accordingly, and away we go. And I'm just going to brush away, really, most of this image, right? Bye, baby. Because what we really need is Harold and hair. So for most of this, we can work really quickly. Okay, and as always, remember, if you take away a little too much, like that, just press X on the keyboard, you can brush it right back in again. So now let's get down to some detail work. Um, you could certainly take your brush and work around the replacement head of hair but that does get a little tiresome after a while. So one option is to stay on the hair layer and make a selection of the hair to make this easier. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand toolbar. If you see the object selection, go ahead and click and hold on it and go to quick selection. I'll click the button in the top right that allows me to make an initial selection. And I'm just going to brush on the hair. Now, this is going to vary widely depending on what image you're working with. As you can see in my case, I got a little too much over on one side of Harold's head. What's cool is I can hold down Alt or option depending on what computer you're using and i can also subtract from the selection i'm going to use the bracket keys to change my brush size which does help control the sensitivity i'm going to zoom in thanks for sticking with this but this is you know the magic of live photoshop work right holding down the alt option key to deselect a little bringing it back Small brush, alt option to remove. And I'm not going to get every single hair here, but this gives us 
a pretty darn good start. Okay, we're almost done with the selection part and ready to paint. What I'd like you to do now is go to select up on the top menu bar, go to select and mask. And depending on what settings you have, you might have onion skin, you might, you probably have marching ants, honestly. But let's shift it in this drop down up on the top layer or top of the menu to black and white. So now we're just seeing our selection. And what I'd like you to do is to let's look and let's change the radius of the selection, just bring it out a little bit bigger. And we're going to go to feather it as well just giving us a little bit extra of the hair that's there. Uh, scroll down to the very bottom, make sure your output to is set to selection and click OK. So I've refined that selection a little bit. All right, back to our layer masking. Make sure you're clicked on the layer mask, click back on the brush tool, and start brushing but what you'll notice is it's only working inside of the selection so i'm going to control z to change that and we need to flip our selection so it's everything but the hair so you can go up to select and choose inverse or on your keyboard you can do control or command hold down shift and press the letter i for inverse all right got my brush it's selected, my opacity is 100%. And now, thanks to this selection, we can cruise around pretty quickly and tighten up those edges without having to go through and work with every single hair that's there. How are we doing? I think we're doing pretty well considering Harold how are you okay and you can always click on the layer the eyeball to change the visibility of that top layer just to see how it's looking so once you're happy and you've worked around the selected area enough let's do control or command D on the keyboard for deselect so now we've deselected and we have to be a little bit more careful but I'd like to do some fine-tuning with Harold still on the layer mask i just want to bring his fingers in a little bit his actual forehead in a little bit um the fingers are interesting right because if you look at the positioning i want to make these i want the hair to flow over the fingers so with 100 percent opacity the hair just disappears right if I press X on the keyboard to flip the mask, I lower my opacity. I could bring it in more like that. And this is where you want to put on some good music and just work with changes in opacity and brush size until you have what you feel works best for my last trick um, or step i just want to brush around harold's hairline and blend that in a little bit more and if you go too far remember just press x you're in charge my friends all right for the purposes of our tutorial and moving you on to doing your own work, we are going to say that completes Harold's makeover. Thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing your own work and have a great day.